so easy. It's just one hard minute after this. Come on. Come on. You can do the power. Let's just go on your head. Come on. Let's push. Okay, let's get it over 400 at the start. Let's take it over 400. Let's go. Are we ready? Let's go, sir. Come on. One to go. Let's get it over. The, there you go. Hold it there. Let's go. Hold it. Come on. Hold it up over the 400. Let's target 14. Come on. Hold 14. 50 to go on. Come on. This is like the five minute plane, sir. Yeah? It's all in your head. Come on. Pick it up. Let's get to 14. Come on. Let's hold it. Come on. Let's go. I want 14, I want it now. Push, seven to go, come on. Push, 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 come on. That's good, please. There you go. That is a mental barrier. There you go. So you break the barrier, right? Yeah. It's a mental barrier, right? Yeah. So you, what you have to do is you have to bank this split. Yeah. Okay, you have to say, all right, I didn't think I could do it, I did it. Okay. Alright? What's going to happen next time when you believe you can do something? Right? It's so much easier than you believe because the adrenaline's high. You don't feel this comfort, the adrenaline kicks in and takes you over. Yeah. yeah? And then what you've got to do is, you then got to transfer that belief to the squash court. Because you tend to do the old, if it's my day, it's my day, if it's not, it's not. Yeah. This is starting to show you, it doesn't matter if it's not your day, you're still going to win. Yeah? Oh, that was a huge mental barrier. I can't the reason why I knew you were going to do it is because you were pretty comfortable at 380. I know you didn't feel comfortable. I felt like more comfortable last yeah, time. Yeah, like last time 380 you died. This time you were, mm, it was niggly, but you were, you were stressed but controlled. Yeah. You have to take these moments of belief. You know, where the training leads to result, leads to belief. Yeah. So it's belief you can exceed the expectation. It's belief you can push through barriers. It's belief that the cycle works. Yeah. If I, I do the work, I get better results. Yeah. Okay? So you've proved you can do it there. You know it works on the court. But it's important that you bank this belief. Because, yeah, you just just keep reminding yourself, right? Yeah. Because what I think, what I think is that your mindset, the mindset of an athlete is what they play in their mind. Yeah? yeah? So if you watch negative stuff, you become negative. If you watch positive stuff, you become positive. If people around you are positive, not fluffing, because that's bad, but yeah. positive and realistic, then you become positive and realistic. Yeah. If when you're thinking, you think, oh, I'm shit, I'm not going to make it, I'm tired, that's what will happen. Yeah. If you think, I'm busting through barriers, what's next for me? Yeah. This is exciting. So keep replaying these things in your mind, because they will reinforce you to become the athlete you want to be. Yeah. Yeah? Right. Hopefully. Yeah, from the little dog about yeah, I can win. But like deep down, I know I can't win. Yeah. And that's just that little difference. Yeah. Of actually knowing, believing you can do it. Yeah. You're not going to beat the one but by being fit in it. No. But you don't have to be fit in it. Yeah. A match lasts an hour, dude. You can last an hour. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be fit in it. You've got to be fit enough that you don't lose because you're not fit in it. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to be fit in it to win. Yeah. You just have to be in the game. You're fit enough to be in the game. Yeah. So the thing is now, you're in a situation now where you've got to get a little bit fitter, obviously. No one that you play in New Zealand will be fitter than you. Enough fitter than you that matters. Fitter that matters, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your brother can, he's lighter than you, he can do better on the bike, VO2, the body one. Yeah, yeah, of course, you can. But it won't be enough good enough, better than you, that you can't last one hour, and if your squash is better, you'll be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, by the end of February, when you freshen up, it actually doesn't matter if you're actually not recovering, because you'll freshen up. Yeah. You get a chance to push it up. Yeah. So even if you're not with these guys um, by the end of January, which you should be, it actually won't matter in that first set line. It will matter in the fifth set line. So I don't want you to get casual and think that you're fit enough and you don't need to keep pushing it. Because it, well, it's just done. Yeah. Well, why limit yourself? Yeah, well, yeah. Why not go as hard as you can do? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, dude, like, it's going to be amazing for you when you feel so good on court. You can do anything. Can do anything you can decide, yeah, I'm just going to beat him by control. Control, oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to be so fit, so fresh. I'm going to be so self aware mentally. You know when you're really fit and you're playing well, you feel like you're going to be so much. Yeah, you feel like you're going to You've got so much time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and so you're just cruising and everything's good, right? You're going to be like that against anyone in New Zealand, right? Yeah. You are. Yeah. Physically, you, you'll just be like, 
I can play however I want to play. Yeah. Whereas what are you doing at the moment? You go hard for five, six points, you get a little tired, and you start shooting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's this? You think it's going to be. No, you do. That's why I do. <laughs> but it's actually 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Please like these videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow Squash Excel on social media. Come to one of the camps at Excel or contact us for remote fitness coaching.